morning guys, Mark Angelo here. Hope you all had a great weekend. Monday morning yet again. Sometimes it feels like we are hamsters on a wheel, going round and round, getting nowhere fast. We think we have control of our minds, of our actions, of our world, but in reality, do we? Do you realize that we tend to argue and disagree more than we agree as a species? Why is that? Why is it that we age, decompose, our minds become mush as the years go by? What kind of design are we? What kind of experiment is this? Do you ever wonder or think? Or you just get along to get along? Mindlessly collecting things Releasing dopamine and serotonin from your brain like some lab rat who is being programmed to do certain things and being rewarded with objects of desires. It seems now we are more and more combative than ever. <clears throat> Excuse me. We tend to fight one another online, give each other's looks in the grocery lines, those that are wearing certain devices to cover their faces versus others that are not. Why do some of us do certain things while others don't? That's the real question here. It's not a matter who is wrong or right. After all, we are the same species. No matter what color we tend to have on our skin, no matter what culture we tend to follow or be from, we are all humans. And I believe that there is something here that none of us are really thinking deeply about. And it's time for us to start to unite instead of continuing this fight. It's time for us to understand things instead of uh, creating all sorts of theories and then fighting about them. We've been duped. We've been lied to. If you look at monkeys in experimental labs, you're looking at ourselves. Look around you. Really reflect deep inside you. Who are you? What are your real thoughts? Have they been placed there by somebody else or are they your own? Is that programming so deep that you don't know any better? It's time to really do the work, the spiritual work. And realizing that this meat suit that we have here, right here in front of us, that we constantly cater to is not the end all of all. It's just a tool. A tool that if you learn how to use wisely, it might serve you to get to a greater level, I guess we could call it. And again, I don't have all the answers. I do think a lot though, and I do wonder a lot. As I look at the aging mirror, as I look at how things change in my body, why is that? Why must we deteriorate? Who designed us this way? Do you think a loving God would have done that? No matter what kind of stories you believe and what kind of book you follow, you've got to dig deeper. And you've got to really start to unite instead of fight. Because together we're strong. Divided, we fall. That's not just a cliche. That is the truth. So whether you believe in conspiracies or whether you don't, you always have to question something, because remember, they hide between every truth, there is a speck of lie in there. And within every lie, there is a speck of truth. Again, I don't have all the answers. I may have none of the answers, but I do have a lot of questions. And questions are good because it makes you think and it makes you take action. And whether action is no action at all, whether action is just learning how to heal yourself from the lifelong nagging voice that tells you you don't belong, that you're not good enough, which then gets us to do the things that we do day in and day out. All the habits and addictions that we fall prey to. It's time to love ourselves and love our, each other unconditionally. Stop giving our powers away. Stop looking up in the sky for some savior. The savior is not going to come. We are the ones who we have been waiting for. I hope I gave you something to think about, food for thought. 
Let's stop arguing, people. Let's stop allowing the ego to take over and try to make each other wrong or right. Who knows who's right? Who knows who's wrong? But if we come together, we can become unstoppable. All right, guys, I love you. But remember to always love yourselves, too. Bye-bye.